Tasker is an Android app for anyone who wants to avoid repetitive tasks and let one tool do all the remembering for you. But how does it work? Does it have any limits? And is it worth switching to Android for? Time for another deep dive review. Hey there, project managers. I'm Meredith, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing Tasker, an Android app that allows users to automate actions on their phone based on contextual factors like location, time of day, or apps in use, among some other things. Tasker was initially developed and released back in 2009 by a German company called Crafty Apps EU. Then in 2018, ownership was transferred to Joao Diaz, a Portugal developer of the other Android apps such as Join and then later Auto Apps, which was a plugin for Tasker. Tasker is positioned as a tool that simplifies one's daily tasks and needs when it comes to using their phones. That can include having text messages read aloud while you're running, automatically connecting to Bluetooth when you're in a car, switching to vibrate mode while you're at work, and just the list just goes on. Now that all sounds great, but does Tasker live up to those expectations? Well, that's why I downloaded the app to find out for you. Let's dive in and see what Tasker is all about. Also, if you have any experience with Tasker, tell me about it in the comment section below. Now, the main selling feature for this app is automations and quick solutions. You do this by creating profiles, which are custom-made shortcuts. Once a profile is made, users can run tasks on their phone whenever the shortcuts meet certain conditions called context. Now, there are tons of context options to choose from when setting up profile automations, including, but not limited to, receiving calls, connecting to certain Wi-Fi networks, a specific date and time, and even when a song plays. Once that context is selected and made true on a profile, in other words, when the condition is met, the task is automatically performed. Users can also create exit tasks to stop an automation once those conditions are no longer true. Tasker also has something called actions, which are ready to use tasks that users can combine to create automated workflows. There's over 350 actions available to choose from, like turning down the brightness, sending notifications, changing system settings, and more. Also, you remember those other apps that the developer made? Well, with the Join app, users can easily trigger Tasker automations from another Android device or a PC. Plus, if you're worried about losing any created tasks or other info, Tasker can easily clone actions and automatically back up files to a folder, a card, USB, or Google Drive. Now, beyond automations, Tasker also has other uses as well. For example, users can create their own screen interface called Scenes. With this feature, one can set an interactive overlay that displays information exactly how and where they want it, such as ticker type notifications, a smart home control button on a lock screen, or a custom navigation bar. Furthermore, users can manage other custom controls, like an always present start and stop screen recorder button within the navigation bar. You can interact with images on the clipboard, convert your set degrees from Celsius to Fahrenheit, provide action error notifications, and so much more. And if you don't like the Tasker app icon, you can change it to the dynamic version for users with Android 13. Along with those custom features, Tasker also allows users to connect and help their peers. By using the Tasker net file sharing system, users can share and export their tasks, profiles, and projects as a link from within the app, as long as they use the correct tasks. Lastly, there's the Tasker app factory, which gives users the opportunity to create and sell original applications. Okay, so now for the big question. Is the app worth switching to Android if you currently use something else? Well, I would say no. And if you're an iOS user, you can achieve similar results with Siri shortcuts. However, after reviewing Tasker, there's no doubt in my mind that this is an extremely helpful tool. It's a powerful app that allows Android users additional control over their device in an automated way. They won't have to spend time mainly performing those repetitive tasks. Moreover, it enables Android phones to control other applications, devices, and smart appliances with connections and ready-made rules. Personally, I have not found any alternative Android tools that could compete with this app. Now granted, there are some concerns. Some previous users have stated that there's a bit of a learning curve and the app has a price tag. However, it's set to an affordable cost and there are ample online resources and a supportive community to help navigate the system. If you want to give Tasker a try yourself, click the link in the description below for a seven day free trial, which is only available as a direct download from the Tasker website. Also, check out technologyadvice.com for the latest software reviews or visit the Technology Advice YouTube channel for more overview videos if you want to continue exploring other options. And before you go, if you found this video helpful, be sure to click the like icon and hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with all things project management. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!